For these children who once lived in the largest prison in Lusaka, education is a luxury, and Faith Masupa has made it possible for them. Yes, this is a green one. How many dogs are here? A few years ago, she founded an organization called Mother of Millions. It looks after women prisoners and their babies in Zambia's capital and helps them adjust to the world outside after their release. The only thing that Mother of Millions wants to do is to ensure that the women get training and are able to stand by themselves, independent in the community, because sometimes it's hard to reintegrate into community or society, you know, because of the stigma that goes with it. Mother of Millions is supported by donations. The organization is often short on cash, so classes for the children are usually held in Faith's home. Faith then drives the mothers to a training center. The ride takes them past the city's central prison, which houses over 1,000 inmates, men, women, even children. When I was pregnant with my son, I decided to pass through the prison on my left, and I was shocked to find children in prison. The conditions of these children were pathetic. Children were subject to the same portions of the, as their mother. They were sleeping in cells like their mother, and they were treated as prisoners, and today they are called circumstantial children. We decided to make a difference by creating a classroom and impacting the lives of these children. Classes continue after the women are released from prison. Mothers learn how to run small businesses so they can generate a source of income. These are questions. The intention is to differentiate. We're trying all the best to ensure that they get an education in literacy, learning, and business skills. And by so doing, they are able to stand independently on themselves. Faith often has to teach the children the most basic skills. Four-year-old Joseph is on his first excursion after life in prison. There's much to discover. Faith is nearby, keeping a watchful eye. This is the first time Joseph has been in such an open place such a place where he can feel like a child again. And that's his right. I think he's enjoying what is happening to him. I'm happy for him. Joseph now enjoys his freedom. But for the many other children still living in Zambia's prisons, Faith Masupa plans to build the first school behind prison walls in Zambia.